Hello everybody. Welcome to Great Learning. In 2020, 50,000 plus cases of cybercrime were recorded in India alone. These records also indicated a surge of 11.8% in the frequency of such offences when compared to the records of 2019. With such rising rates of cybercrime, protection of our devices and vulnerable information has become the burning need of the hour, compelling us to look for adequate preventive measures. Ethical hacking is one such measure which is widely followed by major organizations in the tech industry to ensure cyber security against unethical hacking. But how does one kickstart a career in the field of ethical hacking? Before you plunge into the specifics of this domain, it is imperative that you acquaint yourself with the basic concepts that are prominently involved in the field first. I am Tejashri and I will help you build an effective career thereon. So sit tight and stay sharp while I orient you towards how to start a career in ethical hacking. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing. So make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video. Any queries or suggestions and I will respond to your comments. Let's discuss the agenda for this entire course. Initially, you all will learn what is ethical hacking. Then you all will get to know who is an ethical hacker. Later on, we'll discuss about the different types of hackers and the phases of hacking. Later on, you'll also get to know what are the different skill sets required to become an ethical hacker. Towards the end, we will be discussing about the certifications that can be pursued to become an ethical hacker. We will be majorly discussing about Certified Ethical Hacker Certification. With no further delay, let's get into this course. Ethical hacking is an approach of defending the system and network security from system vulnerabilities of the same. Ethical hackers strengthen the system and network security by identifying the weaknesses and by rectifying the appropriate countermeasures. Now let's look at the definition of ethical hacking. Ethical hacking is a profession where hacking methods are used with good intent to help others and serve a greater purpose. But who is an ethical hacker? Ethical hackers find ways of breaking into the security infrastructure to find system vulnerabilities and ways of improving those. Also, these ethical hackers provide their service only if they are lawfully employed to do so by an organization. The term hacking is controversial in nature and is always considered in a negative context. There are different types of hackers that serve various purposes ranging from malicious to beneficiary. Knowing about different types of hackers help professionals to understand their boundaries of being an ethical hacker. We will be discussing about three different types of hackers in this course. They are white hat hackers, black hat hackers and gray hat hackers. White hat hackers. White hat hackers are ethical hackers. They try to break into the security infrastructure to find out the system vulnerabilities and ways of improving those. Black hat hackers. They gain unauthorized access to a system to steal or damage the data in a system. Gray hat hackers. Grey hat hackers are a blend of white hat hackers and black hat hackers. Grey hat hackers gain unauthorized access to a system to find out the system vulnerabilities but with a good intention. Grey hat hackers do not steal or damage the data in a system. Hope you all have understood what are the three different types of hackers. The hacker follows five steps in the process of hacking to breach into a network or a system. Let's discuss in brief about the five phases of hacking. The first phase of hacking is reconnaissance. This phase is also known as footprint or information gathering. This phase is an essential phase of hacking. The goal of this phase is to gather information regarding the target. The second phase of hacking is scanning. 
In this phase, hackers find various ways to gather information such as IP addresses, user accounts or login credentials. The third phase of hacking is gaining access. In this phase, the hackers gain unauthorized access to a target system to steal sensitive information. The fourth phase of hacking is maintaining access. Once the hacker gains unauthorized access to a target system, the hacker tries to maintain access. The last phase of hacking is clearing tracks. In this phase, the hacker clears out all the tracks to ensure that the hacker does not leave behind any clue. Hope you all understood what are the five phases of hacking. There is no one formulated way to become an ethical hacker. Depending on the requirement of an organization, they create a job description and look for skills in a candidate for the same. But still, few basic and important skill sets that are required to become an ethical hacker are mentioned here. A degree in computer science, information technology or mathematics will lay a foundation for career in ethical hacking. The candidate should have good problem solving skill. Soft skills such as passion towards the domain, strong communication skills, flexibility and innovative thinking are very essential. On the technical front, the candidate should have a good working knowledge of programming languages such as HTML, ASP, C, C++, Python, Java and others. The candidate should also know about operating systems such as Windows, Unix, Linux and iOS. An aspiring ethical hacker should be well versed with the basics and advanced knowledge of computer networks and cyber security concepts. Some of these concepts are firewall, virtual private network, cryptography and different types of cyber attacks. With an increase in the demand for skilled ethical hackers, many training programs and certification courses are being presented in the market for the aspirants. Getting certified is important as it adds credibility and value to your professional profile as an ethical hacker. A valuable certification from a good institute can help you land job in big tech giants. We'll discuss about 5 certifications in this course. We'll majorly focus on Certified Ethical Hacker Certification. We'll discuss in brief about the remaining 4 certifications. They are GIAC Penetration Tester or GPEN, Offensive Security Certified Professional or OSCP, Certified Penetration Testing Engineer or CPTE, Certified Penetration Testing Consultant or CPTC, Certified Ethical Hacker. Certified Ethical Hacker is also known as Certified Network Defense Architect. This certification is obtained from the EC Council. EC Council stands for International Council of Electronic Commerce Consultants. EC Council is a global leader in InfoSec Cyber Security Certifications program. This certification covers ethical hacking methodology and several other aspects such as DOS, DDoS attacks, wireless encryption, social engineering, network scanning and many more. The certification also covers the five phases of hacking. To take up this exam, the candidate should have a minimum of two years of work experience in the IT industry. The candidate should also have prior working knowledge of TCP IP. This certification will help you to boost your skills to work as advanced threat analyst, information security assessor and penetration tester. The total duration of certified ethical hacker exam is 4 hours with 125 multiple choice questions. The cut score ranges from 60% to 85% depending on the difficulty level. Hope you all understood what is certified ethical hacker certification. GIAC penetration tester or GPEN. GIAC stands for Global Information Assurance Certification. This certification validates a candidate's ability to perform penetration tests using best techniques. To get this certification, the candidate should pass a proctored exam with a minimum score of 75%. The duration of this exam is 3 hours with the number of questions ranging from 82 to 115. Offensive Security Certified Professional or OSCP. This is the least regarded but the most technical among the certification options. This certification is based on offensive information security abilities. To pursue this certification, the candidate should take up a 24-hour proctored exam that is hands-on. Certified Penetration Testing Engineer or CPTE. 
This certification covers all the concepts of penetration testing to improve the practical experience of applicants in the penetration testing process. Certified Penetration Testing Consultant or CPTC. This certification is for cyber security professionals who are interested in performing penetration testing against security infrastructures. To pursue the certification, the candidate should take up two exams. The first exam is a hands-on and the second exam consists of 100 multiple choice questions. To pass the second exam, the candidate should get a minimum score of 70%. Hope you all understood what is GPEN certification, OSCP certification, CPTE certification and CPTC certification. Hooray! We have come towards the end of this course. It's time for you all to recollect whatever you all learned throughout this course. Initially, you all learned what is ethical hacking. Then you all got to know who is an ethical hacker. Later on, we discussed about three different types of hackers and they are white hat hackers, black hat hackers and grey hat hackers. We also discussed about five phases of hacking and that is reconnaissance, scanning, gaining access, maintaining access and clearing tracks. We discussed about the basic and important skill sets that are required to become an ethical hacker. Towards the end, we discussed about five certifications. We majorly focused on Certified Ethical Hacker and we briefly discussed about GPEN, OSCP, CPTE and CPTC certifications. Hope this entire course was interesting and useful to you all. Thank you all. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing. So make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video. Any queries or suggestions and I will respond to your comments.